morning, good morning, my lovelies. I am very excited today because we have a very special guest. And, <laughs> and that is my beautiful younger sister, Elizabeth. Hi. Happy Friday. Look how well it's actually going to be aired on Sunday. I'm so but sorry. Yeah, we don't have to, you know, we don't have to reference days or dates or anything. Happy day. There we go. This video is actually going to be aired after the Christmas one. So it'll be a New Year's one. And I thought this would be the perfect way to end this first year of mine with my YouTube channel. So Lizzie is over here on holiday for Christmas. And we are on our way to my favourite place to have summer bob which I'm very excited about. And um, today we have a bit of a different car. So knowing that Lizzie was coming over, I thought I'll switch up my normal mini petrol one that we've tried already with Justin for a diesel one because we're going to be doing a lot more mileage and the petrol one is very thirsty, spending a lot of money on fuel. Um, so I thought I'm going to switch up to a diesel cabriolet. So the other day we did have the roof down. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was lovely when the sun was out. Yeah, ever since then it's been raining. Hey, what happened to it never rains in Spain? The rain in Spain stays mainly on the plain, but in this case, it's not. Well, if it carries on raining, it's going to be falling on my aeroplane. Oh my goodness, no. I am leaving. I'm not staying. It's ridiculous. It's lap man. <laughs> it's not cold though, it's 17 degrees, so at least we can't complain about that. Oh, uh, yeah. So the diesel that we're in, diesel cabriolet, 116 horsepower, automatic. It's okay, it's nippy, it does the job. Okay. It's uh, got a beautiful color outside and this lovely light beige interior. Oh, what do you think about it? I like it. I'd actually like to learn how to drive in it. <laughs> <laughs> so do you actually have a driving license? Tell yes, us too. You do, and yes. how old were you when you got your driving license? I was 18. Right, and you got that here in Spain? Well, I started learning here in Spain and then I did a crash course in uh, Oxford. It's funny that they call them crash courses. I know. You're learning know yeah. I did a very quick course. <laughs> they shouldn't really call it a crash course. No, they course. shouldn't really. <laughs> well, in my case, it, I don't know how I passed, but I did. Yeah. Did you pay them? No. Yeah. Did you wink at the instructor? Yeah. <laughs> so, you've never owned a car, right? No, never. Because you are the fine age of 27. And you've had to drive license for nine years, but you've never owned a car. And that is because shortly after you, get, you got your license, you moved to China. I went to right. Turkey first. And what did you do in Turkey that you didn't need a car? Well, we had a driver. So my agency, my modeling agency, provided a model in case you haven't, haven't noticed. They wouldn't have noticed. Just... <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, so I was there for three months. So I didn't need a car. I didn't mm -hmm. need a driver. And then, okay, that's right, everyone. And then came back to Spain and packed my bags and moved to China. Wow. And in China, the taxis were so cheap and um, drivers over there were a little bit scary, so I didn't want to drive over there. So but is that the thing, just that taxis are so cheap that yeah, it's hard to warrant a Yeah, an hour in a taxi would cost you like three euros. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. There was no point really owning a car and looking after one. Yeah. Parking, all that stuff, so. I get you. And then, from China, you moved to London. Which I really, really didn't need a car in London because we live so close to the train. Yeah, Even and though I don't like, I don't, well, I know you don't really like the transport at all. I hate public transport, but in England, when I lived in London, I didn't own a car either. I didn't, well, well, I mean, I didn't so oh, close to work, so need that, to. Well, that's the thing. I didn't opt into the company car scheme because one, because uh, I lived in zone one, and I worked in zone one, so that's there's a congestion charge in London. That means that you have to pay every day. There's a reduced rate if you live inside the congestion, so it wasn't that side of it that put me off having a car, but it was the street parking. So I lived in Soho, which is an amazing area, as you know, it's my favorite. And um, there's, it was all street parking. So you could get a parking permit that was assigned to you, mm. so you could park on the street. But when you have a company car, you change every three months. Right. And that parking permit is tallied to a registration. Okay. So I would have had to have been constantly going to the, like, the town hall or whatever it was to get it changed. There was never any parking. And I did it a few times and it would have taken me longer to drive than to walk. Because it was 12 minutes door to door. Yeah, no, it, it happens over there. It's much easier to walk if it's not raining. Yeah. What did you do on the rainy days? Because you hate rain. I just umbrellaed it. Umbrellaed right. and wellied it. 
got your wellies I on put today. my wellies on. I've got Don't my wellies on today. today. Mm. Oh, cute. Reminiscing today, I am on, on, on all of my days, all my rainy days in London. So I just think you've brought the weather with you. No, 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 because when I arrived, it was sunny. Maybe it was just delayed. <laughs> yeah, I think so too, just a bit like Maybe me. It's <laughs> just delayed coming over. So oh. if you were to own a car, what would it be? Okay, I'm just gonna throw this out here because this is my favourite car. I've got a few favourite cars, but this one I really, really I would love to have a um, a tea wagon. I just think it's so neat, and for someone that hasn't driven for like what nearly ten years ever, I mean, yeah, yeah, ever, ever. I've driven a few times with country lanes, which is fun. Um, but apparently, you're not meant to stop when the animal when an animal comes out. You just meant to run straight over it, which I don't think is right. I mean, have you ever encountered this situation? No, because I drive too slow for this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> not, and not often enough. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think I've been. I've driven like five times. In my life. Okay. I was going to suggest that you that you got behind the wheel of this today and drove us to lunch, but maybe we'll leave that for another day. I think if you took me to a parking lot, I'd be, I'd be all right. That would be fun. Or not. Because it's automatic, I think it'd be better. Well, at least you can't stall it. It's true. Which I did great. on my driving test. You stalled up the up, manual, up, uh, up a hill. Yeah. Well, it happens. It's a driving test. That's what we. That's what they're there for. Exactly. You know. And my driving test was so lovely. Was it? But yeah, G wagon. Okay. So I think it's big and boxy, so no one will mess with it. Yeah. Unless you want to have loads of kids. Yeah. Like loads. Like she wants to just start boshing them out, don't you? <laughs> so yeah. a G Wagon would be really good for the first three, but then you'd have to upgrade to a seven seater. If you want more kids. George could just get a nice car. George wants a nine eleven and I don't think that that's gonna work. No. I think I think we need a G Wagon, really. We can have family. a G Wagon, yeah, for sure. Because I love me a G Wagon. I did a video on it a few weeks ago, did you see it? No, I don't do much yet. You must watch it too. You yeah. should be. I know. I, 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 I am to. I am your number one fan. That video was a couple of weeks ago, and you haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, of course I've seen it. Yeah. You lies. You lies. So I love her <laughs> My favourite ones are Batman and Robin. <laughs> so because of Justin's floppy ears. Yes, yeah. because of Justin's floppy ears. Justin, you're great. <laughs> so we are on our way. There's not much to talk about the car because it's we've done a review on Mini already. So the main review today was just have a little chin wag with you, people to get to know you, and so that you can see how different we actually are. I did a video a few weeks ago with my friend Nicole and her Citroen C2, and everyone pretty. thinks we're sisters. Well, of course she's pretty. But everyone she's so thinks pretty. we're related. No, <laughs> <laughs> so obviously she's gorgeous. But oh, we yeah, had, yes, yeah. <laughs> we had. Um, a guy come up to me yesterday in the gym and he said, he, liked you. he said, do you have a twin sister? And I said, not that I know of. And she's my sister. He's like, uh, you sure? No. He's like, there's a girl in the gym who's just like you. Do you know her? <laughs> That's Nicole. That's yes, how I like look. Me and Nicole with the C2 video. We do that. Yeah. Like. But you and I are actually sisters, even though we don't share hair colour, eye colour. Because I mine's fake. Height. Your height. <laughs> Cause I'm four foot like my size, my shoe size is four four sizes bigger than yours. Yep. And my hands. Look at the size of <laughs> <laughs> the size of your hands are massive. Size of hands and feet is because you're very tall. How tall are you? Five nine and a half. Which in meters is one seven six. Really? I thought you were taller than that. So that's what I told you yesterday, and you were like, no, you're not 5'10. But I'm sure I'm 177. 178. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go with that, because you always should have two centimeters. I'm 167. Love that. Petite. It's just compact. Exactly. And you're full of joy. Beep. Bum makes up for it. My, my ass. You're definitely in there. <laughs> so we went out on the town last night, and we had, we had, had a clip of fun. <laughs> had good fun. There are some dancing videos that maybe Justin wants to tally in. I will send them to him. You must. And we had a ball. We went out in the car, came back in the car. We got some looks for some people. People always commented on the colour. Whenever I drive this like diesel one, it's a lovely colour. I love the colour. I like this one more than the petrol blue one mm. that I drive, especially with the black contrast room. I think that's really, really nice. But I will get some footage of inside and outside shortly for Justin to Right into the some video. footage. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have the same personality? 
She's absolutely ludicrous. Um, <laughs> I'm angry. Shall we go for lunch? Shall we show everyone where we're going to go for lunch and do a little bit of additional video there? Is that a plan? We have a really good lunch spot. Alright guys, I'll speak to you shortly. So here she is in this beautiful weather with the racing stripes on the front and the black roof. But as we were saying, the only thing with this one, if I can get through this massive pile of uh, leaves, is the boot. So, ugh, that's how small, that's how small, that's how small the boot is. Literally, we can get two bags in the back, that is each. So, not very impressed with the boot. But apart from that, everything else is the same. Got that cute little detail. It's all the same apart from the special visit. Hey, beautiful. Hi. But this colour, I absolutely love. So, <laughs> so we are here in one of my favourite Arabic places in Arroyo de la Miel. That's where we grew up and went to school and we're having some Moroccan tea, which is amazing. Cheers, guys. And yeah. we're having a crepe. <laughs> I don't know, maybe in some of the countries that you guys are watching this, a crepe isn't a crepe, but this is a crepe. It's like a, a pancake. It's a flat pancake. It's a flat pancake mm. with Nutella and banana, and it looks freaking amazing. So I've been coming here for years, and I cannot wait to get tucked in. We made it here in treacherous weather. Mm. Is, that, mm. is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no need to wait for me, it's fine. We got here in treacherous weather, but the mini made it okay. Didn't it? Did. It? No, it was know? smooth. Didn't skid. Smooth anyway. all the way. Yep. But I must say, if I had to choose between, I suppose it's my car, a normal mini or the cabriolet version that we're driving, I'd definitely have the normal one. Oh, because really? on the motorway, picking you up from the airport, there was a lot of sound, I could hear a lot of sound, a lot of, a lot of wind noise inside, and also the boot. How small is the boot? The boot's ridiculous. I mean, she did come with a stupidly oversized luggage anyway. Like, well, I gotta get my outfits in. It's ridiculous. No. But we couldn't fit it anywhere. We nearly sent her boyfriend home on the train <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the luggage because it wasn't gonna fit. But uh, all in all, Big fan of the mini, think you are too. I love them. But it would be a coupe version. So on that note, my crepe's getting cold. <laughs> Don't let your crepe get cold. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing new year. And I hope that you continue to follow me and support me the way you have been so far. And thank you so Give much. Give it a thumbs up. Back. That's and it. Subscribe, to subscribe, 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 people. Thank you so much and happy new year. Bye. Bye.